It's been 12 months since San Francisco's district attorney, Brooke Jenkins, took office. Today, we got right into it. What do you think is stopping you from actually prosecuting every single drug dealer in San Francisco? The arrest must continue. Uh, there are still people clearly out there on our streets selling drugs. We must continue to make sure that those individuals face charges. Her office stated they filed 819 felony narcotic cases in the last year, which resulted in 38 convictions. That's 12 more than her predecessor. It doesn't sound like a lot. What's your plan? I think it is a lot. And when you break it down, what it signals is that the police have ramped up their efforts uh, with respect to arresting drug dealers. Um, prior to that, what we were seeing were drug dealers not being held accountable whatsoever. You think you're doing your job and maybe judges are not doing their job? I mean, who's failing San Francisco here? We have filed over 100 motions to detain in drug dealing cases, but only had uh, somewhere under 20 of those be granted. Judges are refusing to make sure that these individuals stay in custody, and that has to change. In 2022, before you took office, about 50 people died in San Francisco every month from a drug overdose. After you took office in 2022, that increased to almost 60 people a month. The first five months of this year, it's looking even worse. Almost 70 people are dying in our streets from a drug overdose. Are you doing enough? That's why our work must continue. But what I won't do is accept that all of that falls on me. We have public health that needs to be doing more outreach to make sure that we're getting people into treatment. We spoke to Tanya Tillman with Mothers Against Drug Addictions and Deaths. Her 23-year-old son was homeless and using drugs in San Francisco before getting arrested. And instead of prosecuting him, she got him into treatment. And at the end of the day, I have to be very thankful. Jenkins was handpicked by San Francisco's mayor, London Breed, after former SFDA Chesa Boudin was recalled. Breed said she's satisfied with Jenkins' work so far. In fact, just recently, one of the first prosecutions uh, for drug dealing in San Francisco in, in a very long time, uh, she did that. And, you know, look, fentanyl is different than any other drug we've ever experienced. We asked Jenkins if she thinks she's done a better job than Chesa Boudin. I believe I've done the job of a true prosecutor, which is what we're supposed to do. And so in that regard, yes. In San Francisco, Luz Peña, ABC7 News.